Hi, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a 3D logo animation in After Effects using Element 3D. I created this animation in just 40 minutes and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process as brief as possible. First thing to do is to import your logo file. Take note that the format should be in PNG. I'll tell you why later. Next is to create a composition by clicking the new composition here in the middle of your workspace. Drag your logo into the timeline, then go to the Layers tab and click Auto Trace. Click OK. And after that, you can click this toggle mask icon and see the alpha layer has been traced. That is why it is required to be a PNG file. You can see here that the tracing isn't perfect. You can take the time to perfect it because it will have a big impact in the 3D model. But in my case, I want this to be quick so I'll leave this process to you. Next, create a new solid. Then go to the effects tab and search element. And apply it into your solid. Then, go to the custom layers, click custom text and mask, and input your logo file into the path layer 1. After that, go to the scene setup. A third party window will appear. Then, click extrude. You can see that our 2D file is now a 3D model. But, you can also see that our model isn't perfect. It is because I skipped the path fixing part. Now, the first setting you would want to change is the bevel scale and the path expand. The bevel scale is the thickness of the extrusion and the path expand determines the mesh expansions from the path. Next is to put a texture to the object. Just go to presets and find the texture that best fit your theme. Then drag it to your model. And go to the UV mapping sections and try to find a sweet spot for your UV repetition. Next, go to the transform section and make the first value of the orientation 90 degrees. Then, create a plane by clicking the create button and select plane. This will serve as the ground in the composition. Scale it up, then select the material you want from the presets menu. Then, find the UV repetition value best suited for your scene. And now that we're done messing up inside Element 3D, click OK, then the scene you created will be imported in the timeline. Next thing we need to do is to create a camera. Try to copy my settings, then click OK. And now that you have the camera, click the Unified Camera tool or press C to navigate our camera. Left click to rotate, middle mouse to translate, and right click to zoom in and zoom out. Now that our scene is 3D, we will be needing additional views to see our composition in other perspective. To do that, just click the one view button and select two view horizontal, then the top view perspective will show in the left side. Now we're getting to the interesting part. Let's create a light to achieve a cinematic look. To do that, go to the layers tab Select new and click light. On this scene, I use a point light with a warm color, but feel free to experiment on it. With the help of the top view perspective, I can easily position my light where I want it to. Next, it is time to animate the camera. Click the position stopwatch to add a keyframe then drag it into the beginning. Then, reposition the camera by using the Camera Unified tool. This time, it will automatically add a keyframe. You can control the speed by how keyframes are far from each other. The closer they are, the faster. Create a several camera animations for your final shot. Now that we're done with the animation, it is time to make some color adjustments. Select all, then press Ctrl, Shift, and C 
to pre-compose the layers. Then, create an adjustment layer and start applying your color adjustments. This tutorial won't be covering this part anymore because I want this lesson to be short as possible. If you want me to create a tutorial for color and scene adjustments here in After Effects, just comment down below or if there's any topic you want me to tackle, just do the same. This will be a time lapse from here on. So guys please subscribe to my channel and it is your choice if you still want to watch this time lapse. I'm sure you can still pick up something. So I'm Hermerson Hernandez. See you in the next video.